best is yet to come and babe won't that be fine the best is yet to come it's the nine at nine all right, number nine, let's take a look at a flying squirrel in action, right. courtesy of the Discovery Channel. No problem. This squirrel is the Superman of the forest. The northern flying squirrel simply flies to dinner. Come on. you imagine? This seems a little what suspicious. You mean, you don't Riding from tree to tree is a lot easier than running through the snow like his more ordinary squirrel cousins. Mm. It just happened to have a camera there in that moment to catch it. Well, I'm sure there's, they sit the there for 20 hours yeah. to get that one shot. Yeah. 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 Like well, let me give you a little bit more information. Oh, please do. Uh, the reason most people don't Slight see flying squirrels is because they're ah, nocturnal. All right, never mind. Right, yeah, this guy was the only right. one who had the guts to <laughs> <laughs> stay out there and catch one. They only okay. come out at night, which is what nocturnal means. Okay. Yeah. All right, number eight. All there you go. All right, number eight. 42 years ago this week, this album was number one on the Billboard 200. It's Beauty and the Beat, the debut by the Go-Go's. Let's just enjoy one of the hit singles, shall we? All right. My friends wanted to be in a girl group, yeah. you know, when this yeah. came out. female band? Yeah, except none of us had any talent. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, the problem. Strange. When have you ever let that stop? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Singing. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Who was the lead singer? Linda, Linda Carlisle. Carlisle. That's yeah. her there? Yeah. Yeah. It was great. All right. Number seven, a lot of people and companies on TikTok are making stuff with generative uh, AI. That's the case with the Matrix. This is how different breeds of dogs would dress <laughs> if they I were really human. If the Australian Shepherd could dress themselves, they would wear practical outdoor gear, a flannel shirt, durable jeans and hiking boots, while the Beagle's style reflects their friendly inquisitiveness in a comfy sweater, corduroy pants and walking shoes. Our energetic boxer prefers athletic wear, a breathable sports tee, running shorts, and trainers, Ooh. perfect for coaching a kid's soccer team. The intelligent and energetic Border Collie dresses in sporty attire, suitable for outdoor activities. Just look at that keen, attentive expression. Good girl. Meanwhile, the golden retriever is yeah. vibing in a yellow cashmere sweater, <laughs> relaxed fit blue jeans, and comfortable loafers. While the Great Dane sports a classic, sophisticated outfit, a well-tailored suit with polished shoes, they're at an art museum, admiring the sculptures and paintings Ooh. reflecting poise and calm. Uh, Creepy. Wow. Look at that. Hmm. All right, number six. It's not enough to have a luxury Hi. yacht these days. You need a luxury yacht with its very own blimp. And that's the latest creation from Lazzarini Design Studios' new concept yacht. The Colo C is 699 feet long with its own detachable airship. The pilot or captain can control both the vehicles, so there's a seamless transition between the two. And the cost? Well, it's uh, in the millions. The company sent a special <laughs> appeal to one specific billionaire client. It's actually on the back of the uh, yacht. It's a banner that says, Elon, get in touch. So it doesn't exist yet? This is another Again. proposal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get this annoys you. Yes, because it's not real. No. Yeah. And they're just trying to get on local TV because mm -hmm. they know our audience is filled with gazillionaires who are going to buy yeah. this stuff. <laughs> I'm sure Elon Musk is watching the live of feed at WGNTV.com. Yeah. 
All right, number five, Barry Keoghan was just named Burberry's new brand ambassador. Between his standout role in The Banshees of Inishirin, and also he's in Masters of the Air, he's in Saltburn, he's the current it boy, and of course he's linked romantically to Sabrina Carpenter, oh, who's yeah. been on tour with Taylor Swift. He traveled to Singapore to see her perform, and according to E! Online, he was spotted at a pre-Oscar party wearing a friendship bracelet with Sabrina's name on it. Wow. So it's only natural that he be chosen the mm, brand ambassador. Yeah, sure. There we go. Uh, all right. Uh, number four, Hawaii has a stray cat problem. Whoa. It's especially bad on the big island. Some people like them. They enjoy going to the supermarket and feeding the sometimes dozens of cats out there. And there's a stray cat sanctuary that's become a huge tourist stop. And the problem is, <laughs> all these feral cats are killers. What? Uh, exact numbers aren't available, but in the continental US, the cats take down about two million birds a year. Two billion. Billion, is that what I said? Billion, Whoa. two billion. Uh, the cats have contributed to the extinction of 63 species. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hawaii's wildlife agency has banned the feeding of the stray cats in certain shopping areas. Problem is, there are lots of people who feed them uh, elsewhere mm -hmm. and make little houses oh, for them and such. And that leads to tens of thousands of cats killing a lot of birds and reptiles. Two billion. Well, birds got to toughen up a little bit, come up with a better strategy. <laughs> uh, number three, starting next month, Japan is closing off a popular area to tourists. Uh, the district in Kyoto will be closed off to visitors because they had too many problems with people harassing <laughs> the working geisha. Oh, yeah. If you're not familiar, they are female Japanese artists known for performing traditional Japanese sure, performances. Yeah. They are also known for their distinct hairstyles, kimonos, and makeup. And in order to protect their privacy, the area where they reside will be closed to outside visitors. Uh, it will only be open to the geisha themselves as well as their clients and anyone who already lives in the district. Yeah. So there you go. That's good for our viewers yeah. to know that also. Uh, all right, number two, here's a clip that shows the insane speed of the fastest animal on Earth, oh. the cheetah. Here we go. He is accelerating here to 62 miles an hour. Researchers found they can increase their speed by six miles an hour in a single stride. Wow. Now, do you believe this one that we just happened sure, to be riding yeah, by I've a cheetah? Sure, yeah, I've seen a cheetah before running. That. We're at Bucktown? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it was yeah. Logan Square, one of those two. Just running down the street. Wicker Park, actually, yeah. is where it was. All right, number one, March Madness right around the corner, and that's the segue we need to watch this SNL clip from 2007. Will Forte is a college basketball coach giving a pep talk to his team that is down by a lot at halftime. But then Coach Wooden, Coach John Wooden, came into the locker room and he played us a song. And that song got us so fired up, we went out there and mounted the biggest comeback in college basketball history. I brought that song with me tonight. And all I ask of you is to listen to this song once and then decide if you want to run home with your tails between your legs or if you want to go back out there and kick the snot out of those bastards.